right, the big story of the day. NASA is gearing up to launch its most powerful rocket to the moon in 50 years. Artemis 1 will blast off later on this morning, fingers crossed. However, NASA is facing several major challenges right now, including fuel leaks and lightning strikes over the weekend. This mission has no crew, but if all goes well, we could see astronauts on the moon by, I don't know, 2025, 2026. Let's bring in Mark Strassman. He is joining me now from the Kennedy Space Center. Really exciting day, Mark. Um, there have been a couple Big of... Big one, Amory. It is, Big but, one. but there have been a couple of setbacks right we've, got, we've seen some lightning strikes over the weekend now we're hearing about a, a hydrogen leak uh, what's the latest what's going on well NASA just uh, uh, stopped the countdown clock a half hour earlier than had been planned and I think a, a lot of that has to do with the uh, liquid hydrogen team is now going over what has been a lingering issue uh, for the last few hours the, one of the four engines uh, is not cooling properly chilling properly and until they figure that out, this, this rocket isn't going anywhere. Mm. And the issue is this, Amory. You mentioned uh, the lightning. Uh, there was a threat of lightning after, just after midnight. lasted about almost an hour. And we've had a series of delays. NASA this morning has a two-hour window to launch that starts at 8.33 Eastern. So if it doesn't launch by 10.33 Eastern, it's not launching at all. Uh, and, and so this series of delays keeps, I think, in, th in theory, it just keeps pushing back when this launch might happen. Mm -hmm. So at best, it's going to be in the back part of the window. And at worst, it's not going to fly at all today. Uh, so, okay, so we've got a two-hour window to work with, but worst-case scenario, it doesn't apply at all. Then, like, mm -hmm. what's the contingency plan? What, when can we see this happen? I know it took, like, what, a week just to get the rocket in position, I think, because it had to move really slowly. So <laughs> then, you know, what's, what's the rain date, if you will? Well, uh, that's an interesting way to put it, the rain date. <laughs> um, the, it, uh, obviously, the, sh the short answer is it, it depends on what the problem is, how significant it is, whether it requires a, a, a quick fix or a lengthy fix. The next possible opportunity to launch comes on Friday, uh, about 12.30 p.m., so afternoon on um, uh, t that's Eastern time. Mm -hmm. But look, if it ends up being more significant, if they can't, they can't kind of figure it out and, and it just starts bothering people like, you know what, I don't feel good about this, it's, it's going to go back in yeah. the vehicle assembly building for a more significant repair. And, and that's as it should be because obviously the number one goal for everybody is not just success but safety. Uh, and so, um, but at this point, we just don't know. We don't. I just don't, don't have enough information to give yeah. you a smarter answer. Uh, my producers are telling me that um, NASA says there's going to be some sort of update in about 10 minutes or so. Um, but I was thinking, just you know, how long can they just have the rocket sitting out there? I would imagine the more time out there, the more opportunity for something else to happen. And so they would want to know if it's not going to happen today or this week, get it sheltered again, or, or I don't know. Do they have a way of protecting the rocket out there? He no, I mean it's 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 going to be exposed, and and you know there was a a, uh, a lightning uh, strike uh, near the rocket on Saturday, and so you don't want to leave it out there exposed for no reason. It's it's only going to be in the pad if there's either they're doing a test or they're doing a launch, and that's and that's and that's kind of it. Otherwise, yeah. it goes back back basically in the garage. So, um, but we're going to, you know, we're going to find out more in the next 10 minutes about whether this is a go or a no go. It's, it's, you know, obviously every minute that goes by where, where they cannot resolve these issues hurts the chances that it's going to fly today. But this, this, uh, SLS rocket that you see over my shoulder, it's been plagued for years by delays and mm. cost overruns. <laughs> and so at this point, it's like, we got to nail this one. And if it means we put it off one more time or two more times, that's what they're going to do. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Um, well, okay, Mark, I'm sure we'll be talking to you uh, throughout the day. Thank you very much. Okay, you bet.